Welcome to today's live stream. I'm super excited to welcome you here today. Before we get started and get into the really for real live, this is obviously a pre-recorded video where I can tell you a couple things and then we can get started. So uh, honestly what I'm doing is buying myself time to turn the camera on and make sure that everything sounds good. But uh, while we do that, while we wait for myself, let's go ahead and comment below. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Maybe let's start with your name and where you're watching from. And then also I'd love to hear about uh, maybe the latest project you're working on or your favorite software. So if you can post a link below, go ahead and post a link to your portfolio. We'd love to check it out and see what you're up to. And maybe even let us know what your favorite uh, software is or maybe your favorite subject. Do you like web design or print design or making t-shirts or logos or branding? I don't know. Go ahead and comment below and let us know. We'd love to check it out. And then also, if you'd love to see what I'm up to, you can check out my work at DerekMitchell.com. You can see some YouTube videos at YouTube.com slash Derek Mitchell. And then also live streaming at Behance.net slash Mitchell's Garage. So you can check me out there. And then did I say Instagram? I don't know if I said Instagram yet or not. Instagram.com slash D Mitchell Design. So hopefully there's links and buttons and stuff here right there. Uh, anyway, all right, guys, we're about to dive into some really cool stuff. Uh, feel free to comment in the thread. And I'd love to, again, see what you're up to. And I'll try and answer your questions as we get going. But let's go ahead and dive in. Today's video is sponsored by the Graphic Design Bootcamp. If you're looking at becoming a graphic designer and you want to learn more about Photoshop, Illustrator and InDesign, creating real world projects that clients would actually pay you for, for things like logos, business cards, letterhead, and much more. Check out the link below for more information and a deep discount to get started today. One last thing I was going to mention too, because I don't know how much time I'm going to need to turn all this on. Maybe it's ready to go and you know, the real me, the live me can just, just cut this off and we can get to it. But in case I need a little bit more time, let me just tell you about myself. So my name is Derek Mitchell. We've been over that. Also, uh, I live in Montana, in Kalispell, Montana, actually, which is just outside of Glacier National Park. And I've got four daughters and a wife, and we have tons of fun doing outdoor things like riding bicycles. We float the river on our paddle boards. That's a ton of fun. I love to downhill mountain bike. That's a ton of fun. When it snows for like nine months out of the year, we like to go snowboarding and skiing. So uh, I feel like I'm rambling. So at any point, Derek, just go ahead and just you know, let's do this. Let's get live. Let's start teaching. What is going on, Miles? My dog just came to say hello. Hi, Miles. Let's say hello to the people. Come here. Come here. Come say hi. This is Miles, my poodle. We're working on his mohawk. Oh, thanks. Kisses. Oh.
Today's video is sponsored by the Graphic Design Bootcamp. If you're looking at becoming a graphic designer and you wanna learn more about Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign, creating real world projects that clients would actually pay you for, for things like logos, business cards, letterhead, and much more, check out the link below for more information and a deep discount to get started today. All right, guys, welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you had a great week. Uh, good to see you, except for I can't see you if you're in Behance. Usually that's where I'm checking the chat, but tonight, for some reason, um, I know I don't understand either Siri. Sorry, Siri's trying to talk to me while we're doing this. Um, for some reason, the chat on Behance isn't playing around nicely with us. So if you head on over to youtube.com slash Derek Mitchell, uh, just for this stream, you'll be able to play in the chat and I'll be able to see your guys' comments. So uh, come on over, come play and uh, let me know what questions you have tonight. It's supposed to be kind of a QA and a and I'm working on some apparel and uh, would love to see what you guys are up to, what you're doing for the weekend. And um, yeah, that's what I know. So uh, jump over there to youtube.com slash Derek Mitchell if you want to participate in the chat. And I look forward to catching up with you there. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to be working on some apparel design. What's up, Bernie? Thanks for jumping over on YouTube. Um, oh, that was strange. Sorry, I'm... I apparently have some work to do on my live stream this weekend. So right before I went live my computer decided to restart like full restart like black screen it did an update and took forever to do it so i'm a little bit <clears throat> haphazard getting all my windows set back up where they were some weird stuff's going on but it's okay we'll have some fun we're gonna we're gonna work through it anyway so this is a brand that i'm working on tonight uh it's for fab defense we are gonna be making some apparel some hoodies some shirts or something. I don't really know what. They've got this logo. They've got just the icon version. And then of course they've got just the uh, the text thing here. So I'm gonna try and um, make something cool with this. Not exactly sure what yet though. So to get started, I need to have something to design on. By that I mean like some kind of apparel. And you can see over here in my library, I've already been kind of saving some stuff getting some things ready to kind of play with. 
And uh, I might do something on this. I just don't even know what I want to do yet. So let's jump over into my favorite um, place for resources. Actually, before we do that, here's a quick plug uh, from our website, DerekMitchell.com. If you guys want to check out more of the tutorials I have here, as well as some of the courses. Uh, my store is still down because I, I have too many other things going on. So anyway, but what you could do is on the tutorials page, join my newsletter right here. I'll send you some goodies and then you can stay in touch when things, uh, when new things come out. All right. But my favorite resource, behance.net for inspiration and all things cool. And I'm going to search for apparel design or t-shirt design or something. I don't know. We'll go through a few different options and see what we can find, see what sticks out, see what might be cool. Oh, that, oh, that caught my eye. And if something catches my eye as I'm designing, usually what I do is I just go through and I uh, hit command on my keyboard and my top down camera is not working either. When I did the reset, the, the software is not talking. So you're stuck with me on one camera right now. Um, so is this going to be a mock-up Bernie asks? So what I'm going to do, I mean, yes, I I'm, I'm actually creating, I want to create some apparel, some actual real looks that'll go to press or go to print or whatever. They'll get produced. Oh shoot. That reminds me. Dang it. I was supposed to call the production lady today. Oh man, she's on vacation next week. I forgot. Oh well, when she gets back from vacation, I'll have all kinds of looks to send to her. So anyway, when something catches my eye, I just hit command and click on it to open a new tab and then I can keep going. So I'm just kind of looking for something. I don't even know what I'm looking for. I'm just trying to get inspired, trying to get warmed up on what's possible. Um, I, I don't really have a good direction for what I'm going to be making tonight. I just don't need to make something simple with the logo. And on that note, I've already kind of done this. So here's a bunch of mock-ups that I've already done for this. So I've got the basics out of the way here. <clears throat> uh, how's the music level, by the way? Is it distracting? It was pretty loud. I just changed volumes that should be better it would help if it wasn't distracting music to begin with all right um so i've got the basics like you know their brand color with the logo nothing super exciting um covering the bases i i don't even really know what to design uh thanks bernie says good on the levels i'll go ahead and open these up i've already seen these before if you guys have been watching my streams the last few days but I'm going to open these up just to kind of have them ready for me. And then t-shirts, I'll go ahead and open up the t-shirt file as well. So while that's thinking about it, let's go ahead and keep pressing on here on some of this inspiration. Apparel design. Oh, that's, that's awesome. Some cool stuff here. All right, let's look up t-shirt design, see if we get some different results. Vato elements. Let's see what kind of things we can come up with here. Just trying to warm up, get some color ideas, get some logo design ideas. Uh, so how hard is it to design an illustrator? Bernie asks. Uh, well, I could transition. Honestly, Bernie, I'm, I'm kind of feeling a little bit like sure what to do here so that's kind of a loaded question there's a lot of overlap with all of the software right so the quick rundown is um, down here on the left hand side we have all of our tools and different ways we can manipulate the art on our canvas across the top we have our options bar that changes it's contextual so depending on what tool I have selected you'll see some different options on the top right so very very similar to 
all of the Adobe Creative Suite, uh, especially Photoshop, since you're used to Photoshop. Up here under Window, we can go to Workspace, just like in Photoshop. And you can see there's some different pre-built workspaces for painting, which you might actually enjoy with what you do. Um, tracing, typography, web design, layout. And really all this is doing is, uh, if I jump into painting, you'll notice my options here on the right. Some of the tools shift over here on the left, but most of my stuff over here, like you get brush panel, some different properties. Let me reset this. I'm gonna reset the painting workspace. Yeah, I wondered about that. I had basically torn off some of the tabs. Um, so you have brushes and the stroke and the symbol sprayer, the layers, just different things that if you were gonna be digital painting would be handy. Um, and then you know, just like any other any other software, right? Up here under file, you can save your stuff. And then when you're done and ready to export it, you can either save as or come down here to export. And that's pretty much like, I mean, maybe an oversimplification, but um, Illustrator is a lot of fun. I think it's really good to know. All right. So that being said, let's let's make a shirt. Um, oh, I just don't even know what I want to do. Like I have no idea. Let's. Um, let's see what kind of stuff could I show you. I don't even know. I, I got to start warming up. I got to start doing something to get to get going here. So we're just going to experiment. So here is a stroke over here where my fill and stroke is the little square with the red line through it means that there's no fill. And currently there's just a stroke. And with this stroke, I can come over here to, to uh, brushes to my brushes window to see that go to window down to brushes, just like in Photoshop. And I can apply a brush to it. Now, one thing that's a little bit different here is I'm actually, the brush is applied as a stroke. It's kind of different. If this was a fill, it doesn't work. If you zoom in, you'll see nothing, nothing's there. So to make a brush, yeah, it has to be on a stroke and I can change the uh, weight of this. So let's jump over to window down to stroke and I can thicken up the stroke a little bit. I can go crazy with it if I want to. And what I'm doing by, with this is all of a sudden I've got some some pattern, some distressing that I could like, you know, do stuff with. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of just kind of goofing around. By goofing around, I mean I'm just kind of playing, just kind of getting warmed up here. I don't know this. Okay. This is just goofy. If I hit, if I delete that background, you can see I'm just throwing brush strokes that are just barely over the artwork, but because of the same color as the background, it's kind of cutting into the artwork a little bit. I don't know. We're just kind of playing around. We're just getting warmed up. Nothing too serious yet. Um, so let's, Yeah, definitely. Vectors and PNG would work in AI. Um, vectors, they those both work in both. The difference is Illustrator is vector based in its entirety. So like when you make artwork, you can zoom in pretty much infinitely and the lines stay perfect and crispy. In Photoshop, it blows apart because it's a raster uh, based image. All right, <clears throat> let's uh, jump back over here. Interesting concepts here. This is kind of inspiring though. What do we got going on here? Sure, let's download it. Let's just see what this is. License it and download it. A lot of times I start from scratch. Sometimes it's kind of fun to just to jump into something else, especially if you're feeling stuck. Just see if it gets any inspiration. 
especially in my case, I'm going on day three with about five hours of sleep each night. So I'm, I'm tired. Bernie says I use Envato a lot. He uses Envato a lot. So do I. <laughs> um, yeah, I love Envato elements. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff. Oh man. You guys want to see a trick? So when I'm hitting preview on these, it's a little bit slow to load, but if I open Adobe Bridge, which I haven't really been using at all. Um, dang, three for me, Bernie says. Not enough sleep. So with Bridge open, excuse me, big yawn, I couldn't even help it. All right, with Bridge open, I can actually grab one of these folders and drag and drop right over the Bridge icon what that's going to do is it's going to, by default, just open up that folder. You can see the path across the top. But that way I don't have to try and like navigate to it. And I can see all of these in one time. I can hit the space bar. And look at how much faster I can cycle through these designs with Bridge. They load almost instantaneously. Right? So much faster. And I always forget that this is a thing. But this loads so much faster than uh, the preview, the, the finder window. All right, so who knows if we'll find anything good in here. I saw that one color that was inspiring. These are all cool designs. And these are all designed in Illustrator, right? All right, this is the one that caught my eye mostly because of the colors. So what I wanna do, um, I'm in bridge right now, so I'm gonna hit space bar to minimize this. And now this is an Illustrator file, so if I double click on it, it should just open it in Illustrator. There we go. And these are all vectors, right? All editable, cool, cool stuff. So what I really wanted from here, let's see. By the way, guys, if you're just tuning in on Behance, uh, the chat is not working right now, or at least it's not for me. I can't see your chats. So I am able to see chats over at youtube.com slash Derek Mitchell. So uh, check that out. Join us. All right, uh, let's see colors so what I did there um, letter M to get my square tool click and drag hold on shift to make it perfect switch to the move tool by holding command on my keyboard then hit option and command so holding down command then add option to get the double arrow to make a copy then if I hold on the shift key now it's gonna snap at 45 degree and 90 degree angles drag it wherever I want, and then let go of all the buttons. Now, if I just hit Command D, it's gonna step and repeat. It's gonna duplicate this, all right? So now I've got basically color swatches here ready to go. I'm gonna get my eyedropper tool, the letter I, and I'm gonna sample this color, hold down the Option key, and then paste to basically apply the color to the square. What's up, Brandon? Elbow cough. <laughs> Sorry. Um, are you saying because I coughed off the mic without doing this? I'm, I'm sorry. I, yeah. All right. Let's do this. So, so really, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I have to go again. Um, I've been fine for like the last week, and every time I go live, my throat starts to tickle and I have to cough. I don't know what it is. All right. I'm going to delete this extra one here. I've got these three colors. I'm going to work with that. Uh, we've got, uh, again, uh, I'll be doing this the whole time. Reminder, we're chatting over at youtube.com slash Derek Mitchell tonight. That's where the chat seems to be working. Uh, I've got this brand we're going to do some fun stuff with. And then I need, see, I'm in Photoshop. That was an illustrator. Now I'm in Photoshop. And maybe I'll, I'll apply the design to this somehow. Uh, we've got a few different things we could play with here. So mm, let's see what happens. Let's just keep going. All right, so I need this, need this. Um, I don't want to work directly in this logo because I don't want to break stuff and save it wrong. <sighs> I apologize, guys. This might be a very short stream tonight. Uh, it's catching me fast. All right, new print document. I'll paste my what I copied in there. Uh, I'm going to come over to this other one that we started playing with. I'm going to grab these color swatches. I'll paste it over here to work with that. And then um, 
this texture and dig in this texture. This is cool. So I'll copy that texture. I'll come back over to the original. No, to the new one I'm making. Maybe. There it is. I'll paste this text. Oh, geez, really? It just got one pixel? Let's try that again. Do you guys ever bounce when you're designing? Listen to music? I can't help it. Like the head bob when you're feeling it? Just me? All right, paste that texture in here. Oh man, this might make things get real slow real fast. Let's do that last. Let's delete that, we'll come back to it. All right, <laughs> so we'll... Uh, sample that color, we'll do this version as one of them. Man, why is it so slow tonight? I restarted and everything and did, a, did an auto update. I'm getting the beach ball. Oh, you guys don't see the beach ball. You just see my cursor. I'm getting the beach ball right now. It does not want to play tonight. So let's jump over into Illustrator. I'm sorry, Photoshop. And let's get this file ready to do some stuff. Let's go grab, um, yeah, let's just hope for the best. We have to go back and grab that file. Oh, no, I don't because it's in the libraries. So I love using libraries in the creative cloud. So I've got my logos in here as well. So I don't have to worry about, I'm not working over in Illustrator right now. So we're just going to play with it this way. I'll drag and drop this asset, which is a vector based illustrator asset, bringing it right into Photoshop. Drop it in like so. Now we need to do some coloring for it. Adjustments. There, is it gonna let me select these? I'm scared to play in Illustrator tonight. It's just not happy. So I'm gonna paste those color swatch squares over here from Illustrator into Photoshop. Just Command C, Command V to paste. All right. So let's add a color overlay. So it's gonna need distressed. I think I can. It seems to be working now, but I'm trying to just keep it in Photoshop. Hmm. Stuff's just not working right tonight, guys. That's frustrating. It's all right. Hmm. All right. Well, Fourth time's a charm. Fingers crossed. There we go. Okay. So there's a texture. Let's rename this layer. And then we'll come back to this here in a second. We got our thing. Double click on the layer to bring up the blending options here. Just kind of blend it in, make it look a little more real. There we go. All right. <clears throat> so I really like those other colors that I had. Let's see. 
see if we can work these in. Oh, that's what I did. Interesting. Okay, I built this file a little bit weird. I'm gonna delete this layer, which was colorizing everything. Um, here's a t-shirt layer. So below it, I'm gonna add a new layer. Actually, let's add a new solid color layer. Then to colorize this shirt, let's add a new hue adjustment layer. We'll hit colorize. color. All right, so now let's add some stuff. Add a mask, get a brush, add that other texture, but I'm gonna do something different. How about a good half tone pattern? Which, looks a little bit different on your screen because my screen makes the mouse look bigger on the replay on the live. So you're seeing a lot of, a lot of crazy brush pattern here. All right. Kind of cool. Pretty basic. I already pretty much have this look. Um, I could leave these colors up here. Let's just say color swatches. Okay, <clears throat> so that's that's kind of a new look that we didn't have before. Um, oh, cool, that's awesome. Bernie says, I've started doing Adobe Capture and I made so many texture backgrounds. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I just kind of told you about that a couple nights ago. So it's cool to see that you followed through and, uh, have been playing with it. I really like it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I should use it more. I just, sometimes there's so many tools we have at our disposal. Sometimes it's easy to get in a rut and forget about stuff. So, um, guys, I don't even know what to do ah, for the rest of the shirt. It's so basic. It's literally just the logo. We got to figure something else out. Um, I got nothing. I got nothing. So let's see. Let's go back to that file I downloaded. Actually, let's go back into bridge. And just see if anything else sticks out. This is kind of cool. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to open this file. We're going to borrow whatever the heck this background lightning bolt thing is. That's kind of cool. Let's see what happens. <coughs> All right. Can I do a camouflage texture? Yeah, it could be cool. Sorry, I can't spell it. It's all good. Um, let's see if I bring this back behind. Where are we at in the stack here? kind of cool 
little random, a little bit off brand. Like it doesn't, like nothing in their current brand has that. So what we'll do is the same effect. Um, I just masked it down. What I did, let me just step back. I did that really fast. Um, so I made, I put the layer in front of the other one. I hit command and clicked on the logo layer. By clicking on a layer with the command key selected, you'll get a selection around the pixels on that layer. So now I've got pixels here. And then under the lightning bolt layer, which is down below it, I clicked on the mask button, which is behind my head right now. Let's, there we go. Click on the square with the circle in it. And now it masks everything else except for what's on the side of that shape, which because I've got some blend modes happening up here, it's letting the layer below pop through. So there's a few different things going on here. Um, and it's cool. It's definitely off brand. I'm gonna hold on shift and click between the, the mask and the actual lightning bolt. So that way I can click on the lightning bolt. And by default, my system is set to auto select a layer. So whenever I click on anything, it's gonna automatically select that layer. And if you hold on the command key with the move tool already selected, you're gonna to toggle on and off auto select. So if I just turn off auto select and I just click anywhere, no matter where I click, the layer I currently have selected is going to stay selected. With auto select on, wherever I click that new layer, you'll notice over here in the layers panel, it jumps to that layer, whichever one is selected. So by having this lightning bolt selected, the mask is unlinked, the chain link is removed. And now I hold on the command key and it toggles off auto select. So now I can move this texture inside. And what I'm looking for, these, these two black harsh lines don't really, they don't really fit in the brand. They're, they're different than any, anything else we have. So what I'm hoping to do is move those harsh edges off the canvas. So there's some more of kind of an organic, almost like the camouflage thing you were telling me about, right? Um, about trying so let's and, I, and because this is vector i can scale this up however big i want to go with it um, maybe i do multiple layers let's let's do i don't know i'm not sure just kind of rotating things around to see what i don't know maybe it was fine before that's kind of cool that's different but it still has the harsh lines in it so Let's jump back into Illustrator. I'm going to move this texture over the side here. And this time I'm going to select just one of these black strokes. I'm gonna, and I'm back in Illustrator. I'm going to come back up here to select same fill and stroke, which is going to delete all this stuff over here too, which is fine. All I really want to get out of this is this lightning bolt thing. So I just deleted all the extra black. I'm going to copy all this command C to copy it. Jump back into Photoshop paste it in here. Okay, I can just hit return. And I can take this mask that I already did once, hold down the option key and click and drag up to apply it to this shape as well. I'm gonna turn off the one below it. Come back here, hold down the command key. So no matter where I click, just this one layer moves. I don't know. Some of the, the other one was kind of cooler. So now what we're going to do, instead of it being red, let's add a color overlay. Let's sample. That's kind of cool. I don't know whether to go light or dark with it. Anytime you're struggling with color, the best thing you can do is go tone on tone. So if you sample the same color from your document and then just drag the color down a little bit darker than the rest, you'll like the results. I hope that helps. Oh, you know what else we need to do? <coughs> oh man, excuse me. Um, I need to apply the texture to it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these two layers. So we have the, the lightning bolt pattern thing and the logo. I'm going to command click these and then hit command, command G to group them, twirl down the group. And now what I can do 
is take this little F-bomb logo mask and drag the mask up to the group. So now anything inside of this folder, I've got the logo and I've got that lightning bolt, are both gonna get knocked out by this mask, which was that halftone pattern that I was using. Um, interesting, uh, Bernie says, I'm having problems in Illustrator. I cannot make a picture or vector. Um, so, I'm having issues with Illustrator tonight, but that's a different issue. That's just because it's being dumb. So real quick, super fast crash course, Bernie, just for you. Uh, Bernie's a subscriber in my Behance uh, subscription area. Uh, thank you, Bernie, for joining. And if you guys are interested, there should be a link below where you can check out more details. Um, so for you, Bernie, I have time to show you this. Super quick cra crash course. Um, getting XP pen tablet, that's awesome. All right, so we have shapes and stuff over here. Almost always, I usually use a rectangle tool. So every one of these tools has a shortcut. If I click and hold for a second, actually, no, I don't even click. I just hover and stop with the mouse. You can see the rectangle tool, the shortcut is letter M. So all I have to do is um, grab, hit the letter M, and then I can draw a rectangle. Now, this isn't gonna look fancy or anything because by default, you're gonna have a black stroke and a white fill. So I'm gonna come here to window, workspace, I'm gonna come down here to Essentials Classic because that's what I'm used to. And I'm gonna go back to Window, Workspace, Reset Essentials Classic. Just that way you and I are looking at the same thing. So um, lots, lots going on here. Over here on the right, we've got all these different windows. I just wanna grab my window or my color window. And you can click anywhere in here and start changing colors. And you're gonna be like, well, nothing's happening. What is going on? Well, it's because your shape is selected. So it's got that blue stroke and it looks like nothing's happening. Uh, but really the stroke is being changed down here. If we zoom in really close, you can see my stroke is changing color. It's just, you're not seeing it because we were zoomed out so far, right? Okay, well next, if you wanna fill it, this little double arrow, we can click here and it's gonna swap the fill and stroke. So it'll be a white stroke and a blue fill and I can click on this little swatch to bring it to the front, or I can click on the stroke to bring it to the front, click on this little square with the slash through it to hide the stroke. So now we have a shape, okay? Uh, so we got the shape. Uh, the other shape I use a lot is an ellipse, which is the letter L on your keyboard. And any one of these tools you see that has a little, it's, it's very, very, very tiny, but there's a little tiny down arrow in the corner. That means if you click and hold, there's more tools buried behind it, okay? So there's all kinds of tools. So we've got circles, we can do stars or polygons. So if I go to the star tool and I click and drag, there's a few little shortcuts here. I haven't let go of the mouse yet. If I hit the space bar, I can move it around. If I hit the option key, I can change from these hard angles, right? It changes the, the angle of the star by holding the option key. Option and let's see, which one was it? Give me a second. My fingers are trying to find the combination. Oh, I almost had it. Okay. All right, so command and shift and dragging. This whole time I've been holding the mouse down. Command, shift, and drag extends the star points, okay? And then I can, I'm still holding the mouse down. I can come over here and hit the up or down arrow keys to change what the star looks like. Oh, hey, look, that looks like a Mercedes logo, almost. Um, we can add a bunch of these guys and then still holding down the mouse this whole time. Command and shift to drag out the size here. And all of a sudden, check this out. You have one of those like, you know, certified starbursts. <laughs> so anyway, so we got some shapes. Um, I wanna get back to the shirts and stuff. We're just kind of doing a quick crash course. So I've got a couple shapes. So then you can start playing around with knocking shapes out. So I'll shift click both of these. And over here, this Pathfinder window is gonna be your best friend. Window, down to Pathfinder. And you can do things like subtract the top from the bottom. And now all of a sudden I have almost kind of like a Pac-Man thing going on. Or hover two shapes over the top of each other. Shift M gets my shape builder tool. And I can either click and drag to merge it all together, Command Z, or hold down Option to make cutouts. So now I've got this shape and this shape that have the cutout. So really in Illustrator, you're just building shapes. You're just building shapes and modifying them like this. If I hit the letter A, you see it gets the little white arrow, which is the, the direct selection tool. And then the black arrow is the regular selection tool. So the regular or the 
is it a move tool? No, it's a selection tool. So the regular selection tool will just grab the whole shape. The direct selection tool lets you grab individual corners and start pulling things apart and moving things. Okay. Just a couple more things, guys, and then we'll bounce back. Last thing I want to show you for tonight, at least, is if you add type. Do this for Bernie over on YouTube. Um, and we got to get a good font in here. Fuck. Um, all right, so we got this in here, and right now this is a font, right? This is this is text, not a shape. But what you can do is come up here to with it selected, come up here to type, and go to create outlines, or Shift Command O. And now it converts it from a font to a shape. So now we can do some really fun stuff, right? We could uh, delete these guys, bring this to the center. I could get the direct selection tool and I could grab just these corner points and I can drag them out. I could grab just these guys here and I could drag them out. So what I'm doing is I'm clicking above and going all the way down below to just have these anchor points, which is gonna be difficult to see on the stream, but basically these on the corner are solid blue. The ones that aren't selected have a, a hollow middle. They're white on the inside, these anchor points. So I can grab these anchor points and I can drag them around, do whatever I want. I could even click once in here and delete these guys. Right? Do some cool stuff. I could, um, I don't know. This is how I make logos, really. Uh, I, I try and make everything that I do custom and unique. Right? So all of a sudden, we went from being a font that anybody could type out to being something that's a little bit custom. Okay? So I could group this. I could maybe make a, a box around it. Oh, here's what we'll do. I'll grab this letter. Right now it's all grouped. I'll get the direct selection tool and I'll click once inside the shape. Command C to copy just the shape and then Command V to paste it. So now I've got a shape that's the same width and I can start making a box with it. So we'll drag these handles up a little bit. Shift click and center this guy. If I select it and hit the letter E, I get the transform tool. And then I can just scale things out. Let's drag a copy over here. Let's drag another copy, hit the letter R to rotate it. Shift click these guys. So now I'm really just playing with little anchor points, right? I'm just kind of moving little anchor points around, having fun. This has nothing to do with what we started with. But like I said, Bernie's a subscriber. We're just kind of having fun playing with stuff. I'm just using these shapes as measurement tools to make the spacing between here and the end of the line be the exact same thing. Let's rotate this shape. Shift click this shape and then click one more time without anything to make this my key object. So I can align this piece to the left of this piece and to the bottom of that piece. Use our measuring tool here. We're going to click these anchor points on the end with the direct selection tool. And I know I'm cruising. I'm just trying to kind of show some things here. Click once, shift click this time um i do to be a hundred percent honest um so the graphic design boot camp i get into it quite a bit i've got a new logo course that i get into it but i don't really have a here's illustrator course i don't think i've done that yet i should do that um all right so this is kind of interesting let's make these go from here to here. I'm just using this as a measurement tool to make these the same. I'm just holding on shift and clicking on these points. So 
So now this space on the left and the right is balanced. There we go. Look at that. It's different. We just basically made a logo for Bernie. Um, anyway, super tangent, super side note. Let's add a rectangle behind it. And then let's make the color just a little bit darker. Double click to open that up. There you go. So anyway, um, obviously I'm just playing around a little bit here. I should save this on my computer. Oh, I wonder. I wonder if I could save it as a cloud document and share it with you easily with the link. We'll have to come back to that later. Desktop, we'll make this. Bernie. I'm going to save it on my desktop as an Illustrator file. And then Bernie, I'm going to upload this to the subscriber area as a link to this playback. I think I can do it right now. Give me just a second to check this. I want to try something real quick. Bernie says, I know on Envato they make people an illustrator. All right, let's go to this current live stream. Uh, go to my dashboard for this. I just want to see if you can get this. Um, <laughs> not that it's super cool and you want to like keep it or anything. I'm just, I'm more so just curious if it works for my subscribers. So sources, can I add a file? So if I put this file somewhere in Dropbox, publish your assets, uh, Behance perks, throw it in there real quick. Just something for you to play with, Bernie. Nothing uh, too crazy. I'm gonna copy this link, copy Dropbox link. Oh, you can't even see it. Sorry, I had my screen turned off so I could do this real quick. Um, All right, so I just added the file. Oh, but you're not on Behance right now. You're just watching on YouTube. It's fine. Um, so let's just let's let's jump back in. We were, got a little distracted there, but um, so Bernie, I just threw that file on Behance on this stream. So there's a link that you'll be able to download if you want to check it out as a file. I'm just curious if it even works that way, so I can add more perks for subscribers. All right, let's uh, put a bow on this. Let's jump back over into Photoshop. Design is looking pretty cool. I dig it. Bernie says, I just got to know AT. Did you mean Illustrator? I don't know what AT is. Um, I like the, I mean, this is kind of cool just as it is. So I'm going to, I'm digging it. I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to turn off the color swatches. Uh, there's a quick mock-up that I could send. You mentioned some camouflage. Yeah, I got to know Illustrator. Okay, so yeah, Brain says AI. Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. That's kind of cool. So I could add more contrast to this background, just so the shirt stands off a little bit better. Be too much contrast. save it. Now, if I wanted to share this with a client, I do one of two things. I hit command shift and the number four, click and drag with my mouse. And then before I let go, I'd hold down the control key and copy it to my clipboard. And then I'd paste it into uh, messenger and just text it to them. Um, in fact, I'm going to do that right now, but I got to turn off my screen because I got to open up this first.
So I just actually literally just texted that to the to the team uh, in messages. I just pasted that picture of the shirt and just see what they say. All right, and that's what I would do and they're all done. So um, if you wanted to save this differently, um, move the screen over here. So what I would do is I'd go to file, either save as, that's one way to do it, depending on where you're trying to put it. I'd save that Photoshop file for sure so it's editable. But then I'd also send the comps out. Fab shirt, F bomb. Camo. And then I would save it as like a Photoshop PDF could be one way to save it. I'll go ahead and click save so we can see what that looks like. Click OK. Turn off preserve Photoshop editing capabilities for this one. And then I'd go to file, export, export as. And then I'd save this one as a JPEG. Export. Let's go to my project folder here. Let's go to the apparel. Let's go to, shh, let's go to comps. And we'll throw it in there. It's gonna export it. So now I can actually share this in an email for a client. Um, let's jump over to the right project, apparel, comps. And there's the JPEG. So I can email this to the client and see what they think. And then where is that PDF right here? Let's take a look at the PDF and see what it looks like. Boom, there it is, PDF, good to go. So I kept it pretty basic tonight, guys. Um, I'm gonna think of some more ideas. We'll probably stream about it here in the next couple of days. But I think that's all I have uh, mental bandwidth for tonight. So I might tap out and call it call it quits for the night. Bernie, thanks for tuning in and uh, jumping in the chat. Check out that file I sent you if you're interested. And then um, in the graphic design bootcamp, Go to my website, DerekMitchell.com. Graphic Design Bootcamp. Um, you can buy it here. It streams on Skillshare, and you can also buy it on Udemy. So um, in, in this course, I get into Illustrator a little bit more. So you might, you might find some good uh, insights there. And then on Skillshare, let me think about this. Yeah, this, this one's probably your best bet for me, but Skillshare has a ton of great uh, Illustrator resources as well. And then there's also a ton of great streamers here on Behance who do Illustrator stuff too. So just keep at it. I hope that helps uh, as far as some of those tips I was showing you tonight uh, to get you started at least and start playing around with it to see what you can make. Oh, dude, the other thing you could do. So in, in the newest versions of the Creative Cloud, um, they have the learn window so go to window down to learn. This might be the best way to learn, honestly. Well, <clears throat> maybe not the best, but like a, a great way to just jump in with like five minute tutorials and get up and running pretty fast. So go to this learn tab and there's some, some simple, very quick tutorials. You can view what's new or view all. And there's, there's a few of these. I think Bernie, if you went through all of these tutorials, so five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 total, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So like in an hour, I think you would have a really good understanding of the software going through some of these tutorials under the learn window. So give that a, give that a try and see what you think. All right, guys, I'm gonna bounce uh, Friday night. Maybe gonna go watch a movie. No, I'm going to bed, I'm so tired. <laughs> uh hope you guys have a great weekend and uh hope to see you soon in the chat have a great night 
All right, guys, thanks for watching today. I uh, hope you learned a lot of valuable information and I appreciate you sticking around to the very end. But before you go, just a couple things I wanna remind you. The first is if you haven't already, feel free to like this video if you can, depending on where you're watching from, give it a thumbs up or subscribe or tap the bell or give it a follow if you can. And uh, also maybe even just copy the link up in the browser and share it with a friend or post it to your Facebook page. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, but again, just want to say thanks for uh, sticking around and I'd love to continue going live as much as possible and helping you guys out. So the best way that I can help you is by you commenting on the videos below. I read those comments. I engage with them as soon as I can, if I can, when I see them. So if it's live, I'll try and answer you right away. If this is a replay, you can still comment on the video Video and uh, I go back and I read those. So I just wanted to say thanks again for watching and let me know what you're working on. I'd love to help you out and hopefully we will see you in the next live. And to be sure you don't miss it, like, like this video and subscribe and follow and do the things. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.